Master Junior, you know, getting a bit peckish. Fucking hate this night shift, you know. It's Friday, right? Friday afternoon. I'm back in tonight. But it's double time for seven hours. So that'll spur me on, I suppose. See, when I was in America, I got addicted to the, you know, fucking beef chip. You can't beat it. Better than a bag of crisps any fucking day of the week. I mean, fine, listen, Nasty, but it's not the same. It's all, you know, nicely chopped and it's just fucking rubbish. It's not proper American stuff. But anyway, right? Anyway, right? And I should sit in the middle more, I think. Right. I did this film of Amazon, right? Fucking, I don't know few days ago and um, I'm waiting for it, I'm waiting for it but I have a few days I was just wanted to pile the time in the west fucking two weeks ago man it was supposed to be priority You'll arrive within two working days. Yeah, two working fucking weeks, more like. Where is it then? Fucking hell, man. Um, anyway. I ordered this. Mm, last week. Got it already. Yesterday. Of what? I'm gonna fucking watch this again. I've seen him up fucking 50 times. Love this film. This. Definitely. Ranks as um, one of my favourite top 10 films. Definitely. It's an Australian film from 1980. It's from, you know, it's from a play. A play by David Williamson. And it's called The Club. Directed by Bruce Beresford. Great Australian director. Also directed Breaker Morant. I've seen that years ago. Edward Woodward and Brian Brown and a few other people set in the Boer War, you know, and brilliant. But this is fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. I mean, it's... I'd go out on a limb, right, to say this is... It's one of the best scripts in film history. It's a script that always makes a, a brilliant film. Because, you know, you, you can have great actors, you can have great plot, everything. Everything fits in the place. It's, it's going to be great, great music even. If you have a bad script, you sunk at sea, me old sons. That's the way it works. I mean, that, one of my favourite actors is Brian Dennehy. You know, and... Well, one time, me and my mum, she loves him as well. We were watching this film on fucking the True Murder channel. And she said, oh, this is rubbish. And I thought, Miss, this, um, say myself, it was like, because of the script. It's not the actor's fault. If you get a, 
a great big fucking array of brilliant actors. And they, they all get handed down this crap script from somebody who can't write very well. It's going to make them sound like crap actors in that film, isn't it? But this, the script in it is fucking fantastic. I mean, it's not a comedy, right? It's satirical. It's not a comedy, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's fucking funny as fuck, I'm telling you. And it's a drama, really, but it's just, it's about Collingwood Football Club in Melbourne, Australia, right? Black and white. You know, they even have their fucking, just like Newcastle and United, they have their magpie mascot. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm still getting used to my fucking iPad. And anyway, um, they, they pay 120 grand for this new recruit. You know, Jeff Haywood, John Howard. And, um, you know, he's a great player from Tasmania. Mm. But, you know, and people recognise that, but the, he can't be fucking bothered. He's too busy smoking weed. And doing this on the pitch, looking up at seagulls and that. Uh, it's like, you know, I, I, all that fucking money. And I, they're just all the way through the backstabbers, arguing with each other. You know, they're, they're a handful of them anyway. Laurie is honest. He's the coach, Laurie. Yep, Jack Thompson. He's the coach and he's honest. And, you know, he won't take any shit. And he'll fucking just tell you to your face and blah de blah. And then you've got the president of the football club, Ted Parker. And he's got this, you know, he owns this pie factory. <laughs> and <laughs> his business is about to go bankrupt, this fucking pie factory. And if you look on, you know, when you see some of their match scenes... You can see everywhere Parker's pies, like the signs and that around the stadium. And um, also, I never noticed was like when he's writing the checkout for the ten grand for Jeff Haywood. It was like if you look on closely on the check, it's got fucking Parker's pies again. <laughs> it's like his fucking pie factory that doesn't even fucking work. He's going fucking bankrupt for fuck's sake. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and, um... Anyway, they're arguing, they're arguing. Oh, he, he, we're spending all our money, 20... 120 grand on this player from Tasmania. And, and fucking... He says, the, the player they've bought, you know, fucking Jeff Haywood, John Howard, he's like, how much of this money goes to me? And I say... Well, you know, you know, passing their book and it's fucking going round the houses and he says, I'm not signing, I want more money. And they're all arguing with each other yet again. The film's all about arguments and backstabbing. <laughs> and, um, and Ted Parker pipes up, How much more money? 10,000. So he pays it personally. Writes a check out, and that's when you see it on his fucking check. <laughs> Parker's pies. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's a brilliant film. Beautifully shot. Wonderfully acted. An absolutely amazing fucking script. Brilliant film, this. I mean, fucking hell. I love Australian films. And this one, fucking hell, the first time I seen it was on TV, you know, it was like years ago, in the 80s or something. I mean, this was released in 1980, you know, director Bruce Beresford. Brilliant from David Williamson's play. Alan Castle, he's like the football administrator. He doesn't give a shit about football, he doesn't even care about the game. He's just there, well, to him it's a business. And that's what football's become now in England, anyway. But this is 1980 in Australia. And that's 
you know, an oi, what, what does he call him? He calls him an oily weasel. <laughs> and he fucking is, he's just a backstabbing bastard. And I won't tell you too much about it. And then you've got Jock. Jock. Fucking Frank Wilson. That's his real name. Jock Riley, right? He's obsessed, absolutely obsessed about his precious 282 games he's played for the club. And nobody's ever beat his record of 282 games and four premierships. He's obsessed with it. It's like he keeps, he brings it up every other fucking minute. And like he, he, he accuses Laurie, the coach, the brilliant coach, of being obsessed with it, beating his record. But he's not, he wasn't, he doesn't give a shit. It's all the him, oh, I'm in the record books. 282 games and four premierships. <laughs> Jock, and he's got a silly, crappy business as well. He's got this, like, fucking second-hand shop, you know what I mean? Selling fucking rubbish toasters and alarm clocks and fucking loads of kinds of household shit that nobody wants to buy. I mean, there's one great line in the film. Eh? <laughs> 40 grouse. A bloody ration alarm clocks that tick so loud that you didn't even need a bloody alarm. <laughs> yeah, brilliant film this, The Club. Fucking love it. I mean, this cost me 20 quid. And it was the last fucking copy. Because it's pretty rare on fucking DVD. Well, probably VHS as well. You know, I mean, it wasn't a massive film in Australia or anything, or anywhere else, but it's a fucking brilliant film, I tell you. You know? So, it's The Club. <sighs> Directed by Bruce Beresford, Beresford, 1980. From David Williamson's play. And incidentally, I think the American version of this was called players for some reason I'm not the American the same film obviously but when it was released there it was called players mm. I could be wrong it could be the English one no I think it was the American one if I'm wrong shoot me at dawn right mm. I hope it's clouded tomorrow <laughs> but anyway the club. I'm. So, I love this fucking film. I mean, I've only ever seen it right on like VHS. I recorded it off the telly years ago. That's the only version I've ever seen on a crappy little telly. A video I recorded off the TV. The film, you know. And all of a sudden, I get the DVD and I've got a 50-inch plasma to watch it on. It's fucking heaven, man. And I noticed things that I didn't see before. Brilliant fucking film, this. I mean, I'm not a sports fan, yeah? No. No. I mean, I like me little bit tennis. I like, you know, oh, I love me boxing. I love boxing. That's, a, that's as far as I go. I don't like football. I don't know anything about fucking other countries like footballs like things or anything like that even if you don't like sport you'll love this fucking film simply because of the fucking diverse characters and the fucking script the brilliant fucking script it's a brilliant film this brilliant the club Yep, the best Australian film ever made. Well, that said, I think I'll go and have a little chat with Christy Myerson because she's calling me on Skype, you know. <laughs> Hi, babe. 
Oh, he might! 